everybody and welcome to FemFlex Friday. I'm Alina Popa, your host today. Unfortunately, my co-host Lena Murray couldn't be here today. But today, I have a special guest invited. Guys, I want to tell you the, quickly a story. When Wings of Strength had the Legends and Champions event, which was supposed to celebrate all Miss Olympias and world champions that have, has ever, have ever been, we have invited Valentina Chapiga, who is 2000 Miss Olympia heavyweight winner. Hello. Unfortunately, at that point, she was not able to come and join us. But today, she's here in the studio with us. So Valentina, welcome to our show. Thank you. Thank it's you for having me. It's an honor to have you because, you know, I haven't seen you quite a lot in a sport lately, yes. right? So I remember uh, I was following you when I was young. <laughs> Um, you were actually one of my inspirations. I remember Thank looking you. at your pictures and as you were competing and I was like, oh my God, this athlete, she's so beautiful and she's got so many muscles, so much muscles, I want to be like her. So um, you are originally from... Um, the Ukraine. Ukraine, okay. Uh, back in the day, it was still the Soviet Union, yeah, right? You yeah. were still in yes. that time. Yes, it was. So um, I, this is how I usually like to do things. I like people to understand where we started when we got where we are, right? Yeah. Uh, as of right now, you are retired, if I'm not mistaken, yes. right? But you have your whole career behind you. Yes. So where did you start and how did you start? Share your story with us. All right. Uh, back uh, back when I was young, I was uh, a little bit a shy girl. And especially, uh, I was really uh, uh, shy about my physique. Okay. I, I I was uh, too lean, up top, and heavy bottom. Okay. So, and uh, one day, uh, my friend uh, told me about the gym was opened um, uh, and invited me to uh, check it out. Okay. So it was a, a girl club. Oh, only a girl club, girl club only, and with the uh, only ma uh, male trainer. Oh, so you only had so, there was one guy who was a one trainer, guy and, and everybody else all was the female. girls. Okay, yes. so this was a lifting club, a bodybuilding club. Yeah, and okay. it, it just opened uh, because uh, 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 there was a change uh, after in in uh, use. Uh, USSR, USSR, right? USSR. It was still USSR, uh, but uh, uh, Gorbachev, uh, if anybody uh, knows. So was it when him, the communists fell? Yeah, it, it was almost communist. Okay. It was about uh, communist, uh, communism fell. Okay. So, and uh, we had a, a fresh breath of air with okay. uh, him coming to power and uh, sport uh, bodybuilding uh, became legal before it was illegal but it was, was yeah. illegal it was illegal it, uh, it was illegal in the soviet union considered to be oh, wow. okay. narcissistic sport oh you know what i remember because romania was communist too and they were calling it submersive uh, yeah sub yeah subversive exactly subversive sport yeah right so and because i struggled with my physique okay and uh i never been athletic or anything so uh i thought well I'll give it a try because it uh, promises to uh, to balance your body and, and uh, you okay. know and work on uh, my physique was ooh, that was uh, just perfect and uh, we had a few girls that this trainer uh, seriously trained for the uh, mm -hmm. first uh, competition uh, in town okay. and we had uh, some time uh, gather uh, in the room and, and watch them. Uh, Posing and I was so impressed. You were and you liked the, yeah, the, the, the yeah, way the body looked, I, right? I fell in love with bodybuilding right away. Okay. So and shortly uh, after that show, they did uh, my trainer. This trainer uh, he did not train me. Everybody was on their own, but these girls, and he came 
to me, uh, no sm some, uh, some muscle perking up uh, in my upper body and saw some potential and okay. offered me to take he, uh, me in the, in the group. So he noticed and, your muscularity. Uh, yes, and uh, pushed me to uh, compete. Okay, so how was your first competition for you? It was great. Six months later, uh, okay. as I started training, I entered the competition and I won it. Oh, you won it? Yes. Uh, and I do believe that back then it was only ma male and female bodybuilding, right? Yes, there right? was there no, no other, other uh, categories, yes. Although this category uh, looked uh, back then like like bikini now. Yeah. Absolutely, yes. I can imagine that, right? But so it's, did it's you a, have it was a great uh, place to start. Absolutely. Did you have magazines too, like Russian magazines that were making like a reviews of the not, shows? Nothing in the happening? Russian magazines, but uh, someone would take uh, bring magazines over the board, like flags. Smug smuggle the, the, them, right? There was right? nothing on the shelves, so oh, someone okay. had to bring it over. And like if, we had the chance, uh -huh, <laughs> if we had the chance to look at it, we would just sit there and, uh, you know, with our jaws dropped and. Uh, look at those amazing uh, bodies, and that's when uh, I first uh, time saw uh, Corey Everson, yeah. and of course I was so impressed, and uh, I admire her uh, till these days, and she was my idol. Yes, Corey was amazing. She still is. She is. Yeah, yeah we, we but it's good very friends interesting now. because you know I feel like uh, we relate uh, from that perspective because that's exactly what I started. I mean, I was like Romania is just like next to your country, right? Yeah, Ukraine. I've we been have in Maldivia. Romania once, uh, once uh, for the show. Oh yeah, yeah. It was European Championship. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. We had we had some uh, yeah. a show there back then. But what I mean is that we started from the same perspective when you know that you are in a country where the borders are closed. You don't have the same options. Yeah. Freedom doesn't come as an option or it doesn't yeah. come as a reality, you know, and especially financial freedom in those times. Yeah. So you look at these magazines and you're like, oh my God, the sport that I love so much has such a big stage in the United States and I would love to yes. get there. I would love to be part of it. Yeah. But I'm born here and this is my reality and I have to somehow manage to align my dream with how my reality is. So how did you align your dream of competing and being in the United States with your reality? How did you get here in the United you States? Know, th there was no plan uh, like that, uh, but as I progressed uh, with my, uh, my amateur career mm -hmm. and uh, competing the first time in European Championship and taking third place, that was amazing start for me. And I, I felt uh, there was a hope for me that yeah. was the same place I took in my first European Championship. I got third place too in heavyweight. <laughs> and I, I took uh, third place in, in middleweight. Middle I, always, weight, yeah, okay. I was uh, always in the middleweight there. So, uh, and as I progressed and uh, had a few uh, more shows and my, uh, the most successful uh, year was two, uh, uh, 1997, uh, when I okay. won, won both the European and World Championship. Okay. And uh, also took the uh, overall crown. So at that the qualified World you for the pro card, right? Which, which qualified me for the pro, ca yeah. uh, pro card. My next year was uh, uh, first time competing in the pro show, and mm -hmm. since I, I, I got qualified for the Olympia, getting the overall in uh, the World Championship. Okay. I traveled to Prague and, okay. and competed oh, see, with... This is, is probably a rule that was back in the day because nowadays winning the World Championship, right? Or before the Federation but I, split. I think uh, each year was different and... Yeah, it might uh, be, yeah. A, any flavors. class winner uh, But I know qualified. that they used to be in the day, the overall uh, World Champion, um, in yes, each class qualified. would get an invitation to the Olympia, yeah. which they stopped at some point. When they started at the different divisions and there were too many athletes, too many athletes they stopped yeah, they having that. Yeah. Yeah. So how yeah. was your first Olympia? First, I, I think my first Olympia was great. Even I, I did not have any expectations. It was a really a big honor for me to go there mm -hmm. and compete uh, with all these uh, amazing stars. Who I, was, I who looked were, up, who uh, were there to, on the stage with you? Uh, Kim Chizevsky. Oh, Kim, of course. Yeah, uh, Kim Chizevsky. Yeah. yeah. Uh, 
uh, Yolanda uh, Hughes. I remember Yolanda yeah. Hughes. Yeah, Vicky Gates. Vicky right? Gates. Yeah. So th those amazing stars that were established, uh, you know, at that and, point. Yeah. yeah. At that point. Uh, were they retiring? Yaksani Eurekrin was there oh, too. Yaksani, yeah, yeah, yeah. She's probably one of the competitors. So the there were 17 longest. competitors, and I took 12th place, which I felt was really great for me, uh, for the first time. I don't particularly remember if what is year was this? 98, you said. 98. Yeah. Did they have two divisions in the Olympia? Or it was no, just one? No, they still had one division. Okay, so it was just one. I think yeah. later they introduced. Yeah, two. they changed it in 2000. Okay, so you were up. Now, the, 12th, yeah, the first, place yeah. out of 12th place in the world, right? Mm -hmm. That's fantastic for your first uh, Olympia. Yeah, yeah, I think it was fantastic. So, and then, of course, like you already mentioned, uh, you know, all the professional bodybuilding is old in America. Absolutely. So, and yeah, at, uh, that at, point, some, there was at not, some point, you, ha there. you have to make a move. So, and I... I got a fortune that my friends, they, uh, they were moving to America and they said, you know what, uh, follow us. So uh, we'll share, uh, sh we'll sh uh, give you shelter and food when you come over. Okay. You know, and uh, so was this like a family of friends that were moving? No, just really good friends. Okay. Yes, really good friends. I still friend with them. You know, and, uh, I appreciate them so much, and will never forget. Uh, so you pretty much emigrated from uh, you, yeah, so Ukraine. It was already in yeah. Ukraine at that time to United States with yeah. your friends as a support. Right? Yeah. So what uh, what happened that year? Uh, uh, I planned to compete again uh, mm -hmm. at the pro show, but I was not qualified for Olympia, so I needed to sign up for some uh, other uh, pro show, and it was the Gentana uh, Pro Classic. Yeah. So I signed up for that. It was in July, and uh, we got our visa. Oh, yeah, because, and of course, there is a yeah. visa involved at that yeah. point. So you were like, okay, I'm going to the United States to compete in this professional show. I'm a professional athlete. Yeah. So you got an athlete visa, right? Yeah, That's how you I, got I had here. to get that athlete, uh, athlete uh, visa. Yeah. So I was a little terrified because in, in the back of my mind, I did want to uh, leave the country compete but never come back okay so you didn't want to i i did not want to come back oh, oh, oh okay so you were scared that you were staying there which might well, have been illegally yeah, right i go i go to but the it embassy was not. yes what so if i don't visa. get the visa yes. you know it was my only oh, chance so but i got visa yeah and so and that's so how was your first uh, how was jantana for you that year uh, Gentana was great. I again, I, I did not think uh, anything's gonna uh, happen because uh, after my uh, previous uh, show, uh, you know, at the Olympia, so 12th place is you know was good for uh, for me, but I did not think it. You know, I can I can do any better, okay. but. Uh, so, but, but this must have been. Uh, but I, there was still not no weight class, and I took third place, which oh, I was. Oh, at Jantana, you got yeah, third yeah, place. So yeah. that told you right there that you are very good for the sport, and you're so, very good yeah, at what so you're doing, right? Yeah, so it was giving right? me. Yeah, it was giving me some uh, some kind of encouragement. That, it gave yeah. you a confidence and, and encouragement co confidence to keep on pursuing. Keep on going. So what was yeah. the next step? And the next step was. Uh, Competing uh, because uh, third place still qualifies for Olympia. Top three. Back then, Jontana, yeah, yeah, it was a higher yeah, rank show, uh, top so three, it qualified yeah. top three. Yeah. Because we still did not have as much uh, competitors, competitors as these and shows with all as we different have weight nowadays. classes. So, uh, and when you see opportunity, you can't miss it. Absolutely. So I signed up, but I did not know what I signed up for because. Uh, because of the uh, environment, the, the life change coming to America. Oh, okay. Uh, sharing, uh, my, my friends were so nice to uh, let us stay in their house okay. and give me food, but the food, I could not ask uh, for too much. And it, unfortunately, it was not the right food, oh, not on point. And the competition was just two, uh, two months away so instead of improving, I was getting worse. That's quite a rough, rough start yeah. here in the United but States, right? But once you right? sign that contract, yeah, you, you cannot, cannot back up. So 
I went to the show. I I was uh, the smoothest competitor uh, on stage, and that was the most uh, embarrassing uh, moment for me to take my clothes off and step up on stage because uh, the level you're going for, like Kim Chizhevsky, Chiz Vicky yeah. Gates, and other girls, Iris Kyle was uh, also uh, there. But, but you mean you had a hard season, I, it was a hard preparation, yes, right? But I so stepped on stage and of course I was uh, the last one uh, without any doubts. Okay. <laughs> so and did this discourage you? It did discourage me. I thought I, I, re, uh, I had reached my potential. So, and, But I mean, uh, you I, knew that yeah. it's obviously when I'm going back, right? To yeah. advocate for yourself. Yeah. Now we cannot turn time back, but you knew that you couldn't prep. You know, it was yeah, not because yeah, you were I could bad not, at the I sport, could not prep, but uh, the prep was really hard, plus, right? Plus, uh, uh, my, my uh, husband, now ex, you know, he did not, uh, did not support me okay. and insisted me to quit. Okay, yeah, well, the system so support is very that important. Was, uh, yes, so that was kind of uh, stressful, and plus, we had to figure it out uh, how to, we're gonna live and how we're gonna uh, survive. We could not uh, stay uh, with the friends forever. Obviously, so yeah. eventually they had to let us go so we can have our own place and start uh, building yeah. you know, our life. So uh, this was what, 99? 99. So tell me a little bit about uh, the following year, which was a big so, year for but you. That year, I, you know, when I was uh, on the boarding line uh, to quit, I received a phone call from a videographer. Okay. And he offered me a little, you know, job and uh, said, would you like to do video? I saw you at the Olympia, I saw you uh, there, you know, I like you and uh, would you like uh, to do the video? Uh, in the summer, I thought, hmm, that's uh, that's a good idea, you know. And because we, uh, you know, financially struggled, I thought yeah. this money would uh, help us a little bit. Okay. So, so I, I did not lose uh, my momentum, and I kept on going. Okay. You know, I got qualified for Olympia, and what, uh, how we say, third uh, time is the charm. Yes. So there you uh, you go. This time, remembering the year before how poorly I did. Yes. And I thought, uh, I thought my condition for uh, Gentana was uh, good, but I, I knew I could uh, get notch harder, it up yeah, right? and get it harder. So, and since uh, Olympia had two weight classes, uh, under 135 and over, and over I thought yeah. I would do better in, in the uh, lightweight. Lightweight, yeah. So uh, then, I traveled to uh, Las Vegas uh, mm -hmm. for Olympia. I meet people in the lobby and uh, I was right uh, on point 135 and I talked to the people and they said uh, the weigh-in would be next day. I was already oh, wow. kind That's of a of. little bit behind on carving up, just holding my weight. Uh, you know, holding my fluids, you know. To just, make the weight class, Just to right? make the weight class yeah. and then, uh, Mir uh, hoping on miracle that I can carve up in uh, in one overnight, night. Yeah. Yes. So, but they say no. Uh, the uh, way ain't gonna be uh, tomorrow, right? Uh, before right I before you get on stage. So oh my I'm God! Like, so what did you do? Okay. So plan B. I'm gonna be you know whatever, but I'm gonna carve up and do what what was the right uh, thing Think to do. That you knew the, your routine, right? Yeah. So that night we also had. Uh, greeting a meeting with uh with fans and i got really good vibe from them when they saw me uh you know with my uh, signing uh, autographs and yeah. i really showed up my uh shoulders and everything you know wearing the uh, sport top uh something so they can see my body and everybody was impressed and like hmm yeah i think i'm on point so it doesn't really matter Yes. I also met uh, Kim Chizhevsky that oh, night, Kim, yeah. and she also gave me encouragement, encouragement when I 
I was, was she, concerned about she was uh, not, not making the light weight. Maybe she, she was said not competing no. right anymore. She was uh, yeah that uh, she got retired uh, yes uh, that year. Oh, the year before was so her last she competition. The, so she encouraged you, right? Yeah, but she encouraged me to to not worry about okay. about uh, the weight division because you look great and it doesn't really matter which way you're gonna go. So. I felt so confident that I I delivered, so I stepped on stage with great you know great attitude and just had blast. Yep. So I was not scared anymore. That's great. So you just went there and you had fun. And yes, and I had fun. And then. And then you won your Olympia won, title, right? Yes. <laughs> when you relaxed and you had fun and you enjoyed the results yeah, of your work, yeah, right? Yeah. So that just let your fears go and and do, you know, just go and perform. But that's very interesting because you know the thing is that if they had their check-ins the day before, you probably would have managed to do the lightweight. Who yeah. got the lightweight class there? Andrula Blanchet. So Andrula Blanchet, that's From when England. that's when she's got her title. Yeah. So it would have been maybe between you and Andrula, we don't know what happened, but that because yes. just because they pulled the check-ins that year before the show started, you got half a pound heavier, you got, went into the heavyweight and won the whole class. Yeah. What a story. <laughs> Yes. I love it. It's like these small moments that make the event memorable, right? Yes. So, um, okay, you got your Olympia title. So, um, what did you do with it that year? Did you have to travel? Did you yeah, have to uh, use it? Guest yes, posing? Yes, that, that year I traveled a lot. I booked like almost, I can't remember because it's 20 years ago, but I think about 10 guest po uh, oh, wow. posing appearances. And I think that because uh, you had to stay in shape I, I for them, to, to, to look uh, decent for, yeah. uh, for uh, guest posing, I missed on something, you know. And my, uh, you know, during the travel, my food was not right. I yeah. could not get the training right, you know. And I also have the feeling that sometimes the guys can get away with being fully off season, right? Yeah. But I feel like women cannot yeah. really pull it as we, good we, on stage in yeah, the season. Yeah, we, mm, I think, more insecure about it. Yeah, some, we are. Yeah, yeah definitely, it's, it is harder. So, how um, how did you how did your career go after that? Uh, I still, I kept competing, uh, but uh, 2001, uh, we still had uh, two weight classes this time. Uh, I I made it to uh, I made it again uh, in the heavyweight. Okay. Because Julia Bergman was uh, coming back from retirement. Yes. And I thought, well, I'll, you know, I don't want to push in the lightweight. I I want to uh, still do heavy, but uh, this time it was only fourth place, and uh, which would not, not give me a, a qualification would not qualify for the next me year, for, right? for the next year. So then. Next year, 2002, there was Miss International. I signed up for it, and I won my lightweight again. So okay, and I, I felt so that you got I belong more to the too. lightweight to, uh, than to the heavyweight. Okay. So and again, uh, going back in Olympia, getting qualified through uh, Miss International, mm -hmm. uh, going against uh, Juliet, uh, Juliet, Julian Bergman. Yes, and Juliet. And uh, taken uh, gracefully a second place. Beautiful, beautiful. Yeah. You know, like you have doubts when when you need to stop or you should compete. So that year uh, I did that routine. This this swan. I yep. want to. There there was a little story behind it because swan is. Uh, you know this is how I felt from ugly duckling because I I, I did not have confidence in myself. Okay. Feeling ugly duckling. You know nobody likes me. You know and all of a sudden I felt uh, through uh, all this uh, uh, my. Uh, Amateur and professional career, I'm turning into this one. Okay, so, well, that's that's a beautiful yeah, story. And I thought that probably going to be my last year. I'm competing, and I want to say goodbye gracefully. So, and I did that uh, that routine. Mm -hmm. So, would you say that you know? Because I, I think I heard you mentioning sometime before that um, you feel like um, 
you couldn't achieve the shape that you actually wanted. You know, yeah. you were in beautiful also, shape, but not achieve what you wanted. Also, I realized, you know, yeah, it's it's a good good way to uh, to inspire people. Yeah. You know, by sh by showing up uh, your work, but as you have a you know high standard for yourself, and you start you 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 really hard on yourself. You yeah. look at yourself. You're judging yourself, and you you see, you know. The age started taking a little uh, toll on your body, you know, yeah. and uh, something that you cannot even hide, like, like your skin is not as tight. Absolutely, you know? I can, we see but, that all the time yeah, in the industry, yes. right? So you can't glue everything, you know. Yeah. So and uh, I want people to remember me, you know, uh, at my yeah. highest than uh, just. Uh, uh, feels Absolutely. sorry for me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't think it's the case because you know I, I I remember seeing those pictures and I was like, oh, Valentina is coming back in physique class now. So I was excited and I looked and uh, I was like, okay, she's not as big as she used to be. You know, I realized that you know there was bodybuilding and this is a different but uh, division. But you still looked beautiful, you know. Yeah. And, and it was uh, it was very inspirational for me to see that you still have that passion and keep on going. I would say, uh, again, through uh, everything I already said in my story, uh, uh, keep positive attitude, uh, do what uh, was deep in your heart, uh, follow your dreams, and don't give, never give up, and uh, believe in yourself. Absolutely. I love that. I love Thank that. You. We all need that confidence. We all need to, to come from a place in our heart, just like you did. and. Uh, basically the story of your life and your career and everything you share with us today just proves that so thank, thank you so you. much thank you so much thank you for being here with us today thank you guys thank for you. being here with us thank and you watching for the episode me. and we'll catch you on our next episode of femflex friday